I just want to grab those things and twist it. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's yeah. so much fun to do like that. Like building, <laughs> yeah. building Or I wanted to like... Yeah. Like Wally, start walking around. Okay. Um, so you just talking about this. I was just wondering. Already, the show has a really distinctive look. Is there any particular set pieces or set locations that you really like? Pop's Diner, I think, is the most iconic set. Um, I like it. Obviously, I got to work there. It's wonderful, but it's such a. It brings back probably so many memories for so many different generations. Um, and just to do a shout out. But I love Hermione's. Hermione's hat. I <laughs> love the lodge as well. Yeah. Um, to me, it looks like a more upscale version of Interview with a Vampire. <laughs> I'm a, Less I'm, creepy. I'm, I'm a yeah. big vintage car um, lover. Mm -hmm. I've rebuilt them and I collect them and I. Yeah. So I love all of the old cars on Riverdale. The they. It just it gives such a great texture. Right. I think, yeah, to exactly. Town. It's, it's a classic. Have you yeah. driven much? The cars? Of the cars? Yes. Well, I I I love. Alice Cooper's little station wagon, her avocado green and brown um, wood paneled little. She she drives that, you know. She's 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 in control of it. <laughs> that was really fun. There's a lot of comparison to Twin Peaks. So, how does that feel for you? Um, I would say that you know I didn't see the comparison until the critics started talking about it when they saw the uh, pilot. Um, but then I realized, oh yeah, you know, okay, we have a, you know, we have a high schooler that's been murdered. We get to know the town through the investigation. Um, it's cl it has a classic feel to it, but it really does have two completely different rhythms to it. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit of like, well, okay, yeah, but you know, it's it's more of an homage, and I. And I just love seeing that in shows in general and just seeing how Twin Peaks influence shows in the future. But, I mean, you know, Roberta and Sarah, Sarah um, you know, they admit that they're huge Twin Peaks fans, so there's a lot of throwback to it. Do you know much about your role in the revival yet? In Twin Peaks? I do. <laughs> We're done filming. Uh -huh. It comes out May 21st on Showtime. And that's all I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you tell us a little bit about like the difference between the mother-daughter relationships both of your characters have and how you see them as similar or in different? Um, look, I think like any, I would say they're similar just because like any mother, you're going to do whatever you have to do for your kids. They just go about it in very different ways. Do they? Um, you know? <laughs> My daughter in real life is eight, so for me, I'm still fresh, fresh being a mom. So when it was with working with Camilla and Cami, it was very dear to my heart because it was like to me, she's like this little eight year girl. So I'm assuming that when Hermione sees Veronica, it's the same thing. She sees her as that little, yeah. little girl. Yeah, you never lose and, that. Yeah, and a lot of times, actually, my daughter Rain would read Cami's lines with me. So that <laughs> oh, that's actually the great. She would read all her lines. So then when I would come to set with Aunt Cammy, I would hear little Rain's voice. Oh. So that's a lot of that feeling that I have with her and stuff. Yeah. And how much do you pay? <laughs> <laughs> Extra half hour watching that's TV. That's right. <laughs> um, I would say, yeah, I think the similarities are that it's just complicated. I think mother-daughter relationships are complicated. And, um, you know, Hermione and Veronica, is, it's it's basically like a single mother raising her daughter and I think Alice treats the relationship with her daughters <laughs> as a single mother raising her daughters um, <laughs> and I think you know um, Alice is just she's completely overbearing and out of control sometimes but it does come from a good place she does it for a good reason she just has no idea how to execute it without steamrolling over everybody that's in front of her well, I, like wondered, mama life. Yeah. I wondered that because it looked like Hal was probably quite under the thumb. But then the last episode, there was the revelation that he'd obviously kind yeah. of gone behind her back and possibly tried to get a poly aborted, we're not sure. Yeah. So did that come as a revelation for you too? And what, what is that relationship yes. between Hal and Alice? It definitely brought a really good layer to that relationship so that he isn't just a henpecked husband. Um, he has his own demons and he has his own part in this twisted relationship in this family. And that actually, you know, last night's episode started to reveal a lot more history um, that, you know, maybe Alice is a victim in things, you know, and she's trying to, she's trying to get the control back. But, um, you know, there's been a lot of things that's been put upon her in her past and it's made her so complicated.
one of my favorite things I would say about the relationship with Veronica is when they make up. To me, they have the best fights ever. <laughs> And the making up part with the wine and the this and it's tit for tat. It's very adult. -like. The negotiation. I love it. <laughs> love. Yeah. Um, how and how does? One, oh, um, I just wanted to ask. Uh, it seems like the fan base like grew really quickly and very passionately. How did that feel to you guys to see that? <laughs> Yay! I was saying that it's interesting that um, you know coming from an uh, older generation of television when you it's on the night that you get your um, immediate feedback and where there are viewerships that night but that television has changed people don't watch it that way anymore so it's a slower reveal to how it's accepted and so it's it's fun to see like a week later like how well it did you know? I just like the social media feedback yeah like that's what's great oh my god Riverdale is endgame and it's great <laughs> Will we be seeing Hiram anytime this season? Yeah, I can't Maybe. say that, but you will feel him come closer and closer and closer and closer. Yes. You may not see him, but you will feel him. Thank you.